making the most of your new Facebook page, all right? And the specific topics we'll discuss are as follows. The new admin navigation, we'll talk about the build audience feature, the weekly stats, the left side info column, custom tabs, what's up with them, where are they, where do they go, and then pages to watch, which is kind of a benchmarking feature. Quick tour from a fan's perspective first, and then I'm going to dive down into the, the actual nitty gritty. This is the old version of a Facebook page. So this is another Facebook page. This is a, the new Facebook page, and it has a very different layout. First of all, non-admins, basically any non-admin would not see this menu right here, okay? They also wouldn't see this feature right here. They wouldn't see stats about what's going on this week, admin navigation and tools within the admin bar, many of them you're going to be familiar with. So if we go back to this page, we see this admin bar page, which just takes you directly to the page. We have activity. Now activity is recent activity around your posts, reverse chronological order. This is a feature that's been around for a while, so it's not anything new. Open these up in a new tab. That way they can keep all the latest stuff they need to uh, look at in one location. Now, insights, that's the next thing. Insights are relatively unchanged. There's really nothing new to Facebook insights with the new Facebook page, except one area. And if we look at posts under the posts tab, we have a new feature here, top posts from pages to watch, right? So these are pages that I'm watching and I can see what the engagement is, the, one of their top performing posts, when it was published, and what the page was. So that's the only thing in Insights. I'm not going to drill down into too much in Insights because, again, it is unchanged. If we go into Settings, which is the next menu item here, a lot of this, again, is unchanged. It's just a new layout. That's all this is right here. So General will give you the same items that you had before when you were editing the settings of your page. So page visibility, posting ability, post visibility, targeting, messaging, tagging, notifications. So page info, you can go in and change all your page info. Admin roles, again, unchanged. Apps, these are those third-party custom apps and Facebook apps that you decide to use. Suggested edits, unchanged. And then at the bottom here, Again, under settings, we have activity log. So activity log is going to direct us to all your activity or filter by the specific type of item. And then banned users. Again, it's just a different layout. So I'm going to go back to the page. The next thing we're going to talk about is the build audience menu. All right. So, so just really quick, we're going to hop back in here. The build audience menu is over on your right-hand side. And if we click on it, we can see that there's an invite friends feature. This is unchanged. If we click on it, a new window pops open and I can go through and I could search uh, through all of my friends who haven't liked this page and I can ask them to like this page. So build audience, we also have import contacts. This is where you can import uh, a list file, constant contact, MailChimp, vertical response, iCloud, Outlook, Yahoo, other email services. I usually recommend not doing this because there are smarter ways to use email marketing to promote your Facebook presence. You can promote your page and you can also use the ad manager. Next is the weekly stats. On the right hand side, these are weekly stats. This week, you have zero ads running. You have 24 new people who have liked your page. Your posts have been seen by 3,000 people over the past week. Custom tabs. A lot has changed with custom tabs. Uh, as you can see, they're not under the cover image anymore. So they're really less visible. They are right here. If you go under more, right? So you kind of have to hunt for them a little bit. They're always under more or they're on the left-hand side, all right? Now I've looked at this Facebook page and I've looked at new, some new Facebook pages on mobile and I'm still not seeing the apps appearing on mobile. So in terms of best practices for third-party apps, you know, custom apps where you're acquiring an email, like in this case right here, okay? This one is saying, hey, free mini webinars. Thank you, by the way, for 
signing up and it says here's the deal blah 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 send weekly invites this is a third party app the way that i'm promoting this is with posts on the page you know i have heard some complaint basically people saying well, custom tabs are gone what are we going to do how are we going to get those emails and so forth you know you, the strategy for custom tabs should always be to dr deliberately drive traffic to the custom tabs it should never be a strategy where hey it's there Hopefully people will see it because no one visits your Facebook page. Pages to watch. And I think I did talk about that earlier, the pages to watch feature. But I'll just go back over that really quickly for everyone. So if you go into insights and you go to posts and you click on top posts from pages to watch, you will see pages that you want to benchmark and look at the top posts from those pages. I'm going to jump back in here and I'm going to open it up for Q&A. I tried to go as fast as I could. I'm telling you, I've tried to go as fast as I could.